everybody, welcome to day six of Commit, 30 days of yoga where we will be practicing heart openers. Heart openers strengthen the back and shoulders while also stretching the shoulders, chest, and front body. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stick around to the end of the video where we look further into a pose from today's practice. Begin seated in easy pose at the back of your mat. Interlace your hands behind your back, pressing them down on the mat as you lift your heart up, small back bend. Then fold forward as much as you can, raising your arms up as high as you can. Return to seated and make your way to a tabletop pose. Knees under hips, wrists under shoulders, fingers spread wide, fingertips pressing down. Exhale, round out the back, spread the shoulder blades wide in cat pose. Inhale, dip the belly in cow pose. Continue moving through cat-cow, flowing with your breath, warming up the spine and stretching the abdominals. To a flat back now, walk your hands forward and keep your hips stacked above your knees as you lower your heart to the mat in an extended puppy pose. Take your time working the back bend, reaching your chest down low. You can gaze forward if your mobility allows, otherwise rest your forehead down on the mat. Release, coming forward onto your belly, forearms down. Elbows under shoulders to Sphinx Pose. Arms parallel to each other, palms flat. Lower the chest. Send your left arm out to the side at shoulder height. Then step the right foot back over the left leg to an open wing pose, opening the body to the right.
release onto your belly. We're moving to the other side. Right arm extends, left foot steps over and back as we open to the left. Return to your belly. Place your arms at your sides, palms facing up. Big inhale. On an exhale, raise just the chest and arms. Try to not hold your breath here. Keep it steady. And lower down. This time on the exhale, raise just the legs. Squeeze the glutes, point long through the toes. And lower. One more time, this time on the exhale, raising the legs, chest, and arms to locust pose. Again, don't forget to breathe. Bend the knees, reach back and grab your feet. Big inhale. On the exhale, we're lifting the knees and chest to a bow pose. Reach the feet up high as they draw the arms back, opening the chest. Lower with control. Begin to press back and take your knees wide, toes together, as you sit back to a wide knee child's pose, lowering your heart down between the legs. Release the lower back. Sit back and come up to kneeling. We're going to move into camel pose. You have the option here to curl the toes under to raise the heels, making them easier to reach, or stay flat on the tops of the feet. Take your hands to your lower back for support. Begin to bend back, pressing the hips forward to keep them stacked over the knees as you reach your hands to your heels one at a time. Open your heart to the sky as you gaze up or back. Release, taking your hands to your lower back to come up. Then sit on your feet, grab onto your heels, and keep holding tight as you fold forward, placing your forehead down on the mat. Raise the hips, rolling lightly onto the top of your head to rabbit pose, rounding out the back. Lower your hips, then move through tabletop to downward facing dog.
Gaze forward and step your right leg up between the hands. Engage the legs, then raise the body in crescent lunge, taking the arms to a cactus position. Open up to warrior two, deep bend in the front knee, facing it forward, widening your stance if you need to. Straighten the front leg, shift and bend to a triangle pose, keeping the chest open, reaching up high. Take the hands to either side of the front foot, bending the knee to a runner's lunge and hold. Step the front foot back to plank pose. Keeping the right hand down, open up to side plank keeping the feet staggered for stability. Step your left foot back behind the right leg, knee bent, heel raised. Keep that right leg straight and ground through the left toes as you press your hips up high. Reach the left arm overhead, open up to a side bend in wild thing pose. Return to plank pose. Shift forward on your tiptoes, tuck your arms in at your sides, and slowly lower with control onto your belly. Raise to Cobra Pose, keeping the elbows bent if you like or extending fully, staying long through the back and neck, shoulders down. Lower the chest and press back to downward facing dog. Over to the other side, gaze forward and step your left leg through, coming up to crescent lunge with cactus arms. Open up to warrior two. To triangle pose. Bend the front knee and lower the hands to a runner's lunge. Step the front leg back to plank pose. Keeping the left hand down this time, open up to side plank.
step the right foot back to wild thing, heel lifted, open up the front body, reaching back, hips pressing up. Return to plank pose. Lower to your belly and come to cobra as we did before or move through chaturanga upward facing dog. Tiptoe forward, arms tucked to your sides, lower to hover, elbows at a 90 degree angle, strong shoulders. Dive forward to up dog, coming to the tops of the feet, floating the legs, get long through the neck. Curl the toes under and press to downward facing dog. Walk your hands back and feet forward to meet each other in a standing fold at the center of your mat. Lower your hips to a knee hug, keeping the heels flat if you can or lifted if you prefer. Make your way to a seated position and adjust here if you need to. Take your knees up, legs together, we're going to go into a cow face pose. Take your right leg under left, left leg over right. Aim as much as possible to stack your knees one above the other. Send that left hand up your back as high as you can, palm facing out. Then raise the right arm straight up. Bend the right elbow and reach toward your opposite hand. If you can't reach your hands together to clasp, simply actively reach them towards each other. Sit up tall and avoid leaning the body or the head forward. Raise the right arm up, slowly release the left, and unravel the legs, returning to the start position so that we can repeat that on the opposite side. Take your left leg under right, right over left, stacking the knees as much as you can. Right hand palm facing out reaches up the back, left arm reaches straight up. Bend at the elbow, reaching for the opposite hand. Again, don't lean forward to force it. If you aren't touching your hands together, simply reach them towards each other. Raise the left arm, release the right. Unravel the legs and make your way down onto your back. Knees bent, feet hip width apart, arms at your sides. Raise the hips to a bridge pose, squeezing tight through the back of the legs. You can deepen the pose here by squeezing your shoulder blades together and clasping hands beneath you. Release the hands and shoulders if you've clasped and lower down to the mat. Raise the feet, hands to your knees, rock the body a little from side to side. Lower your feet to the mat and extend the legs out long, keeping them glued together, toes pointed. 
with your hands beneath your seat on either side, elbows out to your sides. To fish pose, press through the forearms and raise the chest, opening the heart. Keep pointing through the toes and if you can, release the head back, but only as much as you are comfortable doing so. You can float the head or gently rest the top of the head down on your mat without putting pressure in the neck. Release fish pose, raise the head and gaze towards your toes. Lower back down and release the hands. From here, send your feet to the corners of your mat, arms at your sides with your palms facing up in Savasana. Begin to deepen your breath as you take a moment to scan the body for tension to be released. Turn your focus to your heart as you listen to its beat and the life it gives you. Waking up the body now, stretching the arms up overhead. Draw the knees in and take your time returning to seated. show you how to get into wild thing it might be a little bit scary for beginners but it's a really fun way to get into the pose and that's going from down dog to three-legged dog and then you might hear different ways of doing it like dropping back or floating back either way it's all the same we want to do it with as much control as possible so from downward facing dog it's gonna look like this we raise the leg to three-legged dog Open up the hips. You can even bend the knee here. 
And then the same leg that's lifted, I'm gonna raise that hand as I rotate the body and land with control. It's a wild thing. I straighten up that grounded leg, I press the hips up, and I open up the body. Good, to release, you can go straight back to three-legged dog. And then to down dog. Or you can just go straight to downward facing dog. Now from the other side. Wild Thing is a great pose to open up the front of the body to develop strength and coordination, and it's a really, really fun pose to incorporate into your practice.